What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be talking about the 10 biggest mistakes new YouTubers make. Now these are mistakes that I made when I started off, or I saw my friends make, or I saw other people make as I was coaching them to grow their YouTube channels to hundreds or thousands of subscribers in a very short amount of time. So these are mistakes that you wanna make sure you don't make so that you don't lose subscribers, you don't get fake views, fake comments, or fake likes, and you wanna make sure that YouTube doesn't penalize you and bury your videos so that more people can't see them. So let's just jump right into this right now to make sure you don't make these 10 mistakes. So mistake number one is uploading too soon. So when you're starting off, this is especially true because this is something where if you're editing or if you're filming and you make subtle mistakes and you think, you know what, it doesn't matter, this is an early video, this is not gonna be big, I'm just gonna lay the groundwork so that in a couple weeks when I'm better at making videos, those videos can blow up and I'll have something on my channel to fall back on uh, so people can see that I actually have a real channel. So you don't wanna just fill in with content until you're ready to make real videos. You wanna make sure that every video you put out is as perfect as you can possibly make it. So if you go back and you realize, you know what, I don't have time to edit this, then don't post it right now, wait and post it later. Or if you export a video out of Premiere Pro and then you find an error in it, don't say, you know what, I don't care, I'm just posting it. You wanna go back and you wanna re-edit that and you wanna re-export it. And likewise, when you're filming, if you run out of memory or if your battery dies, go back later and re-record anything that you think you might need to brush up on or make a better clip for. So you really wanna make sure that your videos are as high quality as possible because you never know which ones are gonna blow up. So for me, it was actually my fifth video that I made blew up and got over a hundred thousand views and this is something that I made some critical mistakes in and I really want to make sure you guys don't do the same so one other thing is you want to make sure that your content is totally accurate you want to make sure that you're not saying anything wrong that you're not making any facts up or anything like that because you have a hundred thousand or a million people watching your video and they're gonna find any errors or any mistakes you might have made number two is actually using the wrong tags and using too many tags and using tags incorrectly so if you want to have the best rank ranking video and gain the most views organically, then you wanna know how to make the best tags. And if you're interested in that, I'm actually gonna make a video next week on this. So make sure you go down and click that subscribe button and click the bell icon now so you can see this video when I release it. So there's actually a lot more to making tags than just choosing words that are related to your video because if you choose words that aren't actually gonna gain you any kind of ranking in search, then having you know 30 tags that all rank on the sixth page of YouTube is not gonna help you nearly as much as having a few tags that rank you on page number one. Number three is being too spammy with your comments. So you'll see this on a lot of other accounts, uh, a lot of other people saying that, you know, here are the top 10 mistakes. Now there's a lot of other videos like that, and one that every video you see is gonna say is don't use spammy comments, please respect other people's content, because honestly, as a creator, if somebody posts on my channel and they post some kind of comment, I'm gonna block that user, and I'm probably going to delete that comment, because I don't want links in the way of my, in, in my comment section. So when somebody's making content, you have to respect their content. And what you really wanna do instead of making spammy comments, instead of saying, come look at my video, you wanna provide value in their comment section, you wanna engage and actually give people value so they organically find your channel and they go and say, you know what, I actually really like this and they subscribe and then you gained a follower who actually likes you and didn't just click on it by accident or click on it because you told them to. Number four is joining for the wrong reason. A lot of people try to make money on YouTube and like they wanna be rich, they wanna be famous and they just jump right in, they try to blow up a video right away and that ends up being real spammy and fake. You wanna make sure you're providing a lot of value and you're really making YouTube because you're passionate about it, you're making videos because you really like them and you really wanna grow a community or whatever your purpose is, you wanna make sure you're actually doing it for the right purpose and not just for money or fame. Number five is a big one. This is audio quality, this is video quality, this is speech quality, and this is your lighting quality. So this doesn't actually require money for any of, any of these, and instead you can actually, so let's just say speech quality. Speech quality is something you wanna make sure that if you're early on and you get nervous in front of a camera, you can use a teleprompter, for example. But you wanna have different ways of being comfortable in front of the camera so that you can speak fluently without stuttering, without being too quiet or too loud or anything like that. And with that in mind, you also wanna make sure the audio is high quality. So to you know, to mitigate any kind of audio problems, what you could do is find a better location, first of all. So you can find somewhere with less ambient sound, with less echo, something that maybe isn't just a glass room or something like that. This is a mistake I made early on. I would record in these glass rooms that were very echoey. And then I learned later, what you really wanna do is you wanna go somewhere that's much more open or maybe a lot of carpets or something like that until you can afford a studio quality setup. 
As far as microphones go, you can easily go on Amazon and buy a lapel mic for 10 or $15, and that will drastically improve your audio as compared to what your phone might record. As far as video goes, you don't need a huge camera right away. I will suggest eventually getting a DSLR or some other mirrorless camera, you know, whatever you might want to choose. But at first, just using a cell phone camera is exactly how I started out. And your videos, honestly, if you're making good content, it doesn't matter if you're using a phone because your videos will just, you know, people will watch them and they'll enjoy them as long as you have good video, good content on your videos, and good audio. Lastly, as far as lighting, you don't need soft boxes. You don't need all these other lights. Honestly, the best lighting you can find is in front of a window using natural light on a sunny day when there's no hard shadows on you. So you want to make sure that maybe the sun's going the other way behind the window. So you just have, you know, a shady porch right there and then the light's coming in. It's going to be a nice soft light on you. This is how I started off. Uh, or maybe just like a cloudy day, for example, is another great way to have lighting that is totally even. It'll make your videos brighter and easier to watch. And it's going to be overall a much higher quality video. Number six is buying likes. You want to make sure you don't go out and buy likes, subscribers, or comments because those are not going to be genuine. They're not going to be real. And in the end, they're not actually going to benefit you. The YouTube algorithm is not going to, you know, favorite your videos over any other videos because you had some kind of fake likes or fake comments or fake engagement. So they want to make sure that there's real genuine engagement. And on top of that, you want to make sure that you also have real genuine engagement because if you have fake engagement with your account or if you have people that you're paying to do that, then you're actually going to get a false sense of what's actually good and bad. And it's really, in my opinion, more beneficial to bootstrap your account and, and just really start from nothing and build it up, find a community and, and really go that way. So you can really get the best videos out there tailored to your real audience. Number seven is eye contact. Now you'll see this one in a lot of other videos as well. And you wanna make sure that you're looking, you know, just like it's a friend sitting right there. So you either wanna look into the lens, make eye contact with the viewer, or you can look around every now and then and make it very casual and very realistic. One thing you don't wanna do is totally look away the entire time, obviously. And you also don't wanna look at, if you have a screen on your camera showing yourself, it's very easy to look at that the whole time. And as you can see, like I can't tell I'm not looking at the camera by looking at the little screen, but I'm sure you can right now because you are watching on a much bigger screen than I am. So if you're watching on a phone, a TV, or whatever else, you'll notice that it's it's weird when somebody's not looking at you. It's like they're looking at your forehead or your cheek or something like that, and that's weird. You don't want to do that. Next, I want to say the next tip that people don't actually follow is being consistent. You want you don't want to be inconsistent with your videos. You want to make sure you're posting once a week, twice a week, every day if you can, or you know, on some set schedule so that subscribers continue to come back and YouTube will reward you for posting consistently. Number nine is clickbaiting people. You really want to make sure that you don't have false titles or misleading thumbnails or anything like that. You want to make sure that your videos out there are exactly what they what they say they're going to be. So when people click on your video, they're going to find out exactly what they were looking for. And because of that, they'll be watching your whole video. They'll like your video. They'll comment. They'll subscribe. And you'll have much more engagement and your video will grow much faster. If you have a clickbait video out there, people are going to click on it. They're going to be mad and they're going to leave right away. So you're going to have no watch time. So YouTube is going to bury your video and realize it's not a good video and the most engagement you might get is maybe on the way out people will click the dislike button which of course is not what you want on a video. So the number 10 mistake that people make is not engaging back with your audience. You want to make sure that when people comment in your comment section on your videos, you go back and you reply to them. Maybe instead of just saying, yeah, thanks or whatever, you want to actually make sure that you're engaging with them and having a good conversation. You want to ask, you know, ask them questions about what they said or somehow get a conversation going so that not only are they more likely to subscribe and be your friend and have a better community and a relationship with you, but also YouTube will see that as more engagement in your videos and as a result, they will promote you as a user more than other videos out there. So guys, as a, so with that in mind, actually, uh, I want to say right now, if you want to go down to the comment section, if you have any questions or any other mistakes you think people are making, let me know down in the comment section. I will do my best to reply to all of them. As always, I want to help you guys grow your channels and grow your marketing or whatever you're trying to do on the internet. I want to make sure you guys can do that as effectively as possible. So please remember to like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions or comments relating to this video. Thank you all for watching. Good luck on your channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, Video, please be sure to click that subscribe button right there. If you want to see another video just like this one, click right there. And for my most recent upload, click right up there. You got three great options, guys. Click on any one of those, and I'll see you in the next video.